Hello, Maria Taplova here, and today we're going to be talking about Erwin Worm and the Art of the Absurd. Worm is a contemporary artist who makes something known as absurd art. It's not quite surrealism, but it's related to it. Absurd art is the result of people living in a society where they have to follow a lot of rules. A lot of his work portrays the feeling of being trapped, or like you're melting or inflating, and living in an absurd world. He embraces absurdity and also uses humor to draw attention to or critique what we value in society. Today you're going to be making an absurd sculpture using things you can find in your house. As all contemporary art, your project should have some meaning behind it or something you want to portray. Have fun with it because this art is all about making you laugh and finding out what makes things weird. Look around your house and find a small toy, figurine, or metallic part, or anything really, that you want to turn into a sculpture. Then you want to modify it somehow, either by adding more things to it, changing it with clay, or painting something on it, or a combination of any of these. You'll need a way to attach separate parts together, and the best way is definitely a hot glue gun, but you'll need your parents' help for this. You might also have super glue, but only use it with your parents' help. Modeling clay is also really sticky, so you can use it to either attach parts together, or just make a piece out of it and attach it on its own. But definitely do not use Elmer's glue or glue sticks because this won't be holding anything together. You might have to get creative and use something like tape or wire, and if that's the case, make it an actual part of your sculpture. As always, you need to have a sketch even if it's a quick one. I started by finding this red toy car in my house, and then I wanted to make it into a living thing by adding clay legs and paperclip feathers. I took a wad of oven baked clay, though it doesn't really matter which one you use as long as you can attach it, and kept the car nearby so I can compare the size of the legs to the actual car. Once I had the general shape of all four of them, I just put them on the car to see how they would fit together, but I am not actually attaching anything yet. I'm still gonna finish sculpting all the little fingers. This sculpture can be made of anything you want it to be, as long as there's thought put behind it. Also remember to work on your sculpture on top of a plate or dish or anything that can spin because then you can look around the whole thing without damaging or smudging something. I baked all of the legs so before attaching them I'm going to cover them in white acrylic paint because I don't like this burnt brownish color. After figuring out how I want to place the legs I'm using a hot glue gun, carefully of course, and making sure all the legs set in place while the glue dries. A hot glue gun is probably the best adhesive, but make sure to only use it with the parent helping you. After I glue all the legs on, I want to make sure that the car stands the way I want it to. And last but not least, I'm adding the spine of paperclip feathers. I'm just doing a dot of hot glue and then holding the paper clips in place. I messed up on the first two because I wasn't looking at it from all angles, so I decided to just finish the rest, then go back, take off the first two, and redo them. Then I get rid of any of the extra little glue strings. And this is the final product. Now it's your turn to make some absurd art. 